Hey y'all, you got Doug Gore here with Cajun Soft Wash. I've had a lot of people asking about uh, about this truck, so I'm gonna go ahead and do a quick video on it. Just show you a little bit about it, how we've got it set up, and uh, I hope you enjoy. So here you go. Um, to start off with, we've got our, our pressure washing reel right here. Um, and then this uh, goes to one of our two onboard booster pumps. I'm gonna back up first, I'm gonna show you the truck. Um, still need to get a wrap put on it. Um, you know, since the flood, we've just been been uh, running bare bones, if you would. Um, just we're so busy, it's not even funny. But um, so anyhow, um, two proportioners, two booster pumps. Um, it also has a residential pump, um, 12 volt pump that is. So uh, this one here goes to a booster that runs off of this proportioner. Um, hey Tim. Boy, it would be nice to have labels for these the fronts of these things, like you know, uh, pump number, or, you know, number one, number two. Just just throwing that out there, because uh, that tape drives you crazy. I know that. Um, this right here um, helps us to prime. So this is a water line. Um, it helps us to prime this, and also we can switch from chemicals to water um, with this pump here, or with this uh, this valve handle. Um, this is our switch that operates the uh, booster pump for this reel. Now. This reel and this reel, um, booster pump, 12 volt pump, work off of the same proportioner via a three-way valve right here. Okay, so I can uh, I can turn this valve and I can go from right now I'm set to go to the commercial pump, the booster pump, or I can go back down and I can go to the 12 volt pump um, and work off of one proportioner. Uh, so that way, I, you know, um, saved me a little bit of money. I didn't have to buy two proportioners and space, um, that kind of thing. And then uh, here's the switch for our 12-volt uh, pump. So you can see everything is compact right here. Everything right here uh, operates off of one um, proportioner, and it's, I'm telling you, the proportioners are awesome. Um, so then we come over here, and as you can tell, this is probably going to drive Tim crazy because everything is labeled here because we have the old older boxes. Um, so the way that this one is set up, we've got uh, our other um, hose reel here that works off of our other booster pump. Um, up here is just our, our garden hose, hose pipe. Uh, and then here's the switch for our second booster pump that's on board. Um, and then right here is our power. We just plug right in here and it powers up everything on the truck. This is a secondary um, because sometimes you go to a home um, that the GFI receptacles don't like to operate two, two booster pumps. And so we'll, you know, we'll, we'll, we'll hook up two different power sources or we'll hook up the generator one or the other. Um, so again, that's, that's everything on this side of the truck. Uh, and then as we come around, we're going to end up going into the back side of the truck. Um, those doors, let me, I'm going to show you one other thing real quick. Um, with these, I can close all this. I can put my doors down. And this is what's called a hackney body. Okay. But look at this. Everything is secure. And if I want boom, push the button and it's locked, okay? So um, then if I come around to the back, same thing, the big roll-up door, I can roll it down, um, pull this, lock it. Now inside here, boy, I can fit just about everything. So I do have a backup generator that we very, very rarely ever, ever use. Um, I just recently bought this uh, three-tier 16-foot um, step ladder. Uh, so really not sure how I feel about that yet. We carry a 12-foot uh, uh, step ladder. Um, I should have left those doors open, keep a little bit more light. This up top here is a 28-foot uh, extension ladder. Um, I wanted to put another uh, uh, reel in here for all of our electrical cords. Um, and then we've got our shelving for, for all of our rags and, and just different things, harnesses, uh, all of our bags, um, all of our clamps. Um, just different things that we've got, some, some boots down there on this side here, uh, spare gas, our F-13 back there, um, just our different cleaners that we use. And here's what we use um, to help the house smell better. Um, the Purex crystals work really, really good, really like these. Um, we, don't do, we don't put them in water, we just put them in a cap and we sprinkle them around. But you can see we've got fittings for everything. Um, we've got a, a blower right here, um, up in here. 
We've got a bucket that we keep all of our different sprayers in so that way they don't tip over. I cut the bucket down so that they don't, uh, they don't rattle and fall over um, and spill. And if they do spill, they're inside of a, of a bucket here. Um, sp spare accumulators. Uh, hey, urine bucket. Um, anyhow, uh, there's lots of different space in here. We've got things for um, what we call our T-bars. We've got brushes. And then back in the back here, um, we've got uh, two booster pumps set up in the back. And then we've got a 125-gallon water tank. We've got a 15-gallon soap tank. And then we've got a 55-gallon uh, SH tank. Um, sometimes if I need, feel like I need more SH, we just bring another barrel in here and we're good to go. Down below there, you can barely see it, but that's our 12-volt uh, pump from the power wash store. Um, we do ours a little bit differently. We had a little bit of troubles with, uh, um, all, or with our drop tubes that went inside of our barrels here. So what we do now, it actually works out really, really well. We've got all of our drop tubes just loose here for our SH, okay? So what we do is we put it in the SH barrel every time. What it does for me as a business owner is lets me know that my guys have done two things. First, that they've gone ahead and rinsed out the pumps, which they're supposed to do every single time. Um, and second, that they've put the cap on top of the barrel and secured it um, so that there's no chance of it spilling. So what we do is we make them uh, fill up that five gallon bucket uh, and then go ahead and, and uh, rinse out the pump and the proportioner um, through that bucket. That's how I know that they've done what they're supposed to do, which is very helpful. Uh, we carry a little pump-up sprayer for little side things and brick mixes and that kind of thing. I keep it inside of a bucket in case it tips over like it has. Um, and that's in the inside of this. Now I'm going to take you around to the other side of the truck. Uh, so what we have over here, these are the tarps that we use. Um, so we've just got different buckets here and as you can see I could actually I could move these tarps someplace else I could put a hot box in here if I really wanted to um, But this is what we use for our our uh, Tarps we use Tyvek house wrap um, I could get into a long post about why I absolutely love Tyvek house wrap um, and it works awesome for covering the plants, keeping them cool and keeping everything safe. It's also an upsell like you would not believe. Um, it, it works for me on a regular basis. And then over here, uh, I've got a 8GPM uh, uh, pressure washer unit um, with a uh, little gas can up top. All of this, there's so much extra space here. It doesn't necessarily look like it, um, but there really is. Uh, I could, I could finagle things around and, and fit just about anything I wanted here. So um, really that's it. That's everything on board um, in a nutshell. Uh, we can go out and do any job, man, any job, and I love it. So, hey, thanks for watching. Doug Gore, Cajun Soft Wash. Take care, y'all. Peace out.